While the sample data sets in RAW can be very helpful, especially as ways of exploring the possibilities of RAW, what's much more likely is that you're going to want to use your own data. Now, the way this works in RAW, you don't have a file and open, you just drag the data in. And the way you do this is by having either a delimited text file, comma or tab separated, or a CSV file, comma separated values, which is a sort of generic spreadsheet. Now for this course, I've created a very small document called course files, which is a zipped file. If you unzip that, you'll find a single folder. And if you want to save that to your desktop, you'll see something like this. When you open up the course files, you'll see three documents in there. All of them are called MBB. And the reason they're called that is because they contain data about Mozart, Beethoven and Bach. And this is Google Trends data showing the relative popularity of each of these three search terms over several years. And I've included the same data in three formats. So you can see how it works. We'll start with the most basic, which is the text file. Now, if I just do a little quick view here on my Mac, you can see what it looks like it's tab separated. And I can just drag that into the window here. And there it is, you can see the little indicators of the tabs right there. And if we come up to the top, you see the column headings. And so this is accessible, it will work. We also have the option of coming over here and click into the table view and now it's all nicely formatted. We can go back to the text also if you want to. If you want to get rid of data, then you need to do it in text view and you can just put your cursor in here, do the commander control A to select all and hit delete. And so it's really easy to just drag the data in and manipulate it that way. Another option is with CSV files. So now I have the CSV file, here's the quick look and you can see that it's in the rows and columns. I'll drag that one in. And you see that it also by default goes to the text version except this time instead of having tabs, it has commas, that's because it's a comma separated value file. But we can just as easily come over here to table view, hit table and we can start sorting by the various variables, we can see what's going on in here. And aha, uh -huh, there's an outline value for Mozart that actually was on his 250th birthday, I believe. And so that's a really easy way to get data in. Again, if you want to delete it, you're gonna have to go back to the text view, and I'll just do select all and delete. I want to show you what happens if you try to drag in an Excel file. Basically, the thing about Excel files is well, you can do a quick view and it looks like the CSV file Excel files actually contain a lot of metadata, and a lot of information that you don't really expect to be there. That actually makes sense because they're XML files. But if I drag it in, you see things are going to go a little haywire. Yeah, that's really not what we were looking for. And things are crazy. So we're just going to delete all of that. And so the rule of thumb here is a text file with tabs or commas to separate the values or a CSV comma separated value file, just drag them into the window and you're good to go in raw.